party hats. Boom, boom. The whole go bang bang here. Let us begin. I want you to keep an eye out for the Boogity Man. Hey everybody and welcome to the VHS Bandits. Today, we're watching Eat and Run, a comedy with taste. Let's pop in the tape. New York, the city that's seen it all. Now, as a visitor, like no one it's ever seen. Eat and Run. He's a space alien on vacation. 10,000 light years from home. 35 people have been reported missing in this city since yesterday. I want you to come up with some answers. His name is Murray. He's here. And he's hungry. Confetti. That's not food, that's me. You're trying to tell me some creature from outer space is going around eating Italians? A spear carrier is coming from the wings, oh, my lord. He is eating Luciano Pavarotti. He's entered a weird world. How was it for you? Where relationships are intense. How is what for me? Where languages are intriguing. The Prussian Persian Pasha and this plush of Porsche puts pressure on the pusher who passes to a fisher. Go on. And where passions can be intergalactic. I'm a Gemini. Ooh. I've had some time to think. When? When we were having sex. Can Murray adjust to a new way of living? Can the Big Apple adjust to a new way of dining? Ooh. I think he wants to be alone with me. Only love can break the heart, but only Murray would eat it. Freeze! Bang, bang! 9 11 emergency. There's a killer after me. Please hold. Eat and Run, the comedy you can sink your teeth into. And now, our feature presentation. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the VHS Bandits Podcast. This is Dane Train over here with my co-host, Topher Hansen. And we got big time, the bomb guest, Tom the Bomb, back with us. Thank you. It's great to be back. All right. He said with utter excitement that he could barely contain. <laughs> That's right. Yep, doing the doing the narration <laughs> yep. there. That's the, that's this whole movie. That is this whole movie. Oh yeah. I sat down on my couch and I watched Eat and Run, and then <laughs> I fell asleep for a little bit, and then I woke up and realized the movie was still on, and I didn't miss too much because nothing has happened. <laughs> yeah, this and, this yeah. kind of true. Then, <laughs> so and then some cannoli guy says, "Shit." <laughs> so yeah, so we watched Eat and Run. Um, 1986. This was another tape that was gifted to us by our good friend DVD Creep, who for a while now has been like, dude, "Oh my god, he's doing all of our movies." I know. He's like, <laughs> he's like, dude, eat and run, man. You gotta see eat and run. You're gonna love eat and run. I'm like, all right, all right, DVD all right. Creep. I'll watch the, it. The official coordinator for the vhs bandits episodes yeah uh, the, the curator right yeah the curator yeah. yeah there you go he's he's he sits in his his library all day his big all oak 100 percent oak library even the tapes are made of oak and he just uh, procures the collection for us and sends us tapes like eat and run and uh some other shit, <laughs> granny and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, DVD creep. Yeah, uh, one of our one of our big super fans. So, eat and run a comedy with taste. Um, so the the cover, I, I like the cover because it definitely has that old school like kind of kind of you know slapstick comedy. It looks like it's from the seventies. Yeah, yeah, it totally has a seventies cover, mm -hmm. right? So on the cover, it's like uh, you have you have the so the movie's about an alien that eats Italian people, right? So you got some <laughs> little cartoon alien guy going to eat people on the top and the bottom, and it says "Eat and Run." I would love jaws. to see the cartoon, like you know how a lot of movies had cartoon like opening credits. Oh, this yeah. would have been a great one. Oh, yeah, I that know, would have been like great for this. 
Missed opportunity. Especially judge, judging from that box. Yeah. Except, no you know, there's... I. This is a very low budget movie. You don't see the alien guy eat anybody. He's just off screen and you hear you see his legs and then you hear him go nom 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 nom. That's it. That's about 30 and minutes the, the, of the, the runtime. The extent of his alienness is basically that he dresses weird and has sharp teeth. Well, he doesn't even dress that weird. He's just yeah. uh, he's in like a like a, a baby blue suit. Uh, like suit. Yeah. It looks and like he's yeah, like uh, alien weird just like normal human weird yeah yeah but he's he's like one of those dudes that like joined uh the carnival and thought it was going to be on like the history channel like they're doing this new reality show on a, on a freak show and then he's like oh i'm gonna be the the snake boy the big fat snake boy and he sharpened his teeth down and then they're like oh the show didn't get picked up and he's like oh fuck now i'm a big fat fucking guy with snake teeth <laughs> for the rest of my life well, here we go. I might as well be an eat and run. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, that, I, 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 that's his agents like, hey, I know. Hey, I got a big old fat guy with snake teeth. He's, he'll be perfect for your alien in this movie. You don't even need makeup. Well, funny enough. So, well, this guy, his name is R.L. Ryan, the, uh, the guy who plays the alien. Uh, he was known for being in a bunch of trauma movies back in the day. I think he was in like Toxic Avenger. Oh, uh, okay. A couple other movies. He did look okay, a little yeah. familiar. That makes sense. He did look kind of familiar to me too. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I couldn't place him, but yeah. Usually uh, in the trauma movies, he always had like a little mustache. So, um, mm. but, uh, Ron Silver, man, the, the lead guy, man, it was great to see him uh i love that guy um i think he's a what else is he in you know i always felt like i saw him in like tv shows as a kid i don't okay. remember a whole lot of other stuff he was in but i, I always remember like probably seeing had a him. guest spot on uh all in the family or yeah something like that right um perfect strangers he seems like he'd be good yeah, on that show he'd, he'd definitely be good on perfect strangers uh so uh the cover has a couple of quotes right so uh Michael Heaton of the San Francisco Examiner states a very aggressive comedy mixing and matching <laughs> clever writing with dot 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 unusual with shitty dance. writing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Dave Kerr of the Chicago Tribune says outrageous visual exaggeration like airplane. What does that even mean? I, I don't know. <laughs> visual like, exaggeration. Like airplane, the film gets most of its laughs by literalizing cliches. All right. So on the back of the box, you got a cover of the alien guy, and uh, he's pointing at the sign that says "Real Italian Ice," and there's a picture of him in, in bed with the Duh. judge in the movie, and it says, uh, "This is a story of one four hundred pound alien." Who eats Italian, not the food, the people. Eat and run. A comedy with taste. When Murray Creature, R.L. Ryan, lands on Earth, the first person he meets is Aldo Rubinstelli, an Italian sausage maker who tells of the virtues of Italian food. Convinced, Creature eats the little sausage maker and becomes hooked on live Italian food. It is up to Mickey McSorley, Ron Silver, a tough law and order detective to put a stop to the ravenous rampage and put creature on a permanent diet. But his is no easy job. He is up against vague laws, a liberal breeding, bleeding heart girlfriend and a mountain of messy, menacing man eating flesh. And by wow. the way, this movie is, uh, uh, it's only 85 minutes. It did not feel like 85 minutes. <laughs> no. Uh, no. I'm going to agree with that statement. It, 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 <laughs> it felt it like 185 felt minutes. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, boy. Take 100. So, uh, let's see here. That, the box kind of uh, kind of went through the whole thing, but should we just do like a real quick synopsis of what this was? Oh, well, then again, maybe I should because it sounds like you guys like didn't really <laughs> didn't really focus on the movie too much. Hey, no, don't I, get me wrong. I yeah, really like, liked the movie until I fell asleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I woke up and I didn't like it as much. <laughs> I only okay. fell asleep for a little bit, only a few yeah. minutes. Oh, I would say okay. like, kind of like, I, I, I did not fall asleep 
but that, <laughs> as, as the sign. movie went on, I kind of like it, it. It ceased holding as much of my attention. Um, I, 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 you know, in the beginning, I was kind of like enjoying it, and then it, as it went on, I, <clears throat> I kind of progressively enjoyed it less and <laughs> was less in, invested in it. Yeah, I mean, I really, really like. We watched the trailer for this, uh, or uh, I watched the trailer for this. I was like, I don't know what the Dane like. You know, showed us the movies that we're gonna watch this this month, and I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Uh, and then I uh, think you sent over the trailer or whatever, and uh, I watched it. And I was like, oh, this could be like uh, either like one of the best movies we see or one of the worst, and it's somewhere in the middle. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's very like uh, um, Silence of the Hams, not at not anywhere near it. No, uh, no. As far as like you know, quality or yeah, anything. But it's, it it's you know, it's a slapstick airplane esque parody movie uh, with a very low budget, and uh, uh, but it's got some really fun. Like I laughed out loud like a few times watching this. Oh. I um oh. I I I push I I only found oh. two jokes to hit the mark. This movie is nonstop really? jokes, and all of them fell flat for me except for two. That was it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I I kind of felt the same way. Like um, it, it like it's like like airplane asking. It was nonstop like slapstick jokes, but unlike airplane, like I felt like a lot of them kind of like missed the mark for me too. I, yeah, only you know, because like, they repeat the same like jokes a lot yeah they do they repeat the same jokes a lot and like the first time like a lot of them were like okay that's kind of funny but not like hilarious funny and then they like it's like okay the <laughs> jokes kind of run its course now they're still yeah, going I, with it i remember like uh it's like in in third grade or whatever i was like uh running around the class like telling a joke and you know like excuse my boobs or something <laughs> like that. And then like the teacher said, like said, all right, you've told, you've said this joke 15 times. It's not <laughs> funny anymore. <laughs> so, so the, the writer of this movie needed Miss McMahon to <laughs> put him in his place to tell him to stop writing the same joke the, over. And you know, over you again. know what something I thought was funny, but the teacher was not happy about it. I remember us being in first grade <laughs> in Mrs. Shaw's class and we had, we were like making, I don't know, we were making crafts and I had the thing yeah. of Elmer's glue and I was squirting it. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the glue, making the glue fart. And the teacher's like on an old Apple one computer, like with some kid, she's whip sweat around in the chair and goes, <laughs> if I hear that sound one more time, I'm going to scream. I was like, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I put the glue down. <laughs> Maybe she really had to fart. <laughs> Wait, if she really she was needed trying to fart, hold it in. If she really needed to fart, she would have farted while I was making the farting noises with the Elmer glue, <laughs> so that way nobody would have known. Yeah, would have covered. <laughs> so if I hear that one more time. I'm gonna fart. <laughs> so real quick, so this something happened to this tape. Uh, well, the 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 box itself. Um, there's no signs that this box came from a video store, but. It looks like somebody like took a shit on the top. I want the evidence. Hey, maybe they did. <laughs> it looks like somebody actually took a shit. And then on the bottom, it looks like an animal like chewed through the bottom <laughs> of the box. It DVD. Does. Maybe it comes that way because it's about a big old fat guy. Oh, you know, yeah, I didn't maybe, maybe think about feature. that. Well, it's literally. Yeah, exactly. It's not a bug. It's, it's eaten a feature. through the New Horizons logo who distributed the tape. Uh, I'm sorry. New World video, not New Horizons. New, new World. world. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, interesting. But, uh, anywho, uh, so we'll do like a real quick, real quick synopsis of the movie. Real, 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 real quick. Um, so, so we got, uh, this, this big guy who's an alien who doesn't talk, he just grunts and he eats an Italian sausage maker and he, he has it in his mind that, okay, I have to eat Italian people. And next thing you know, he's eating a bunch of people. So there's a cop, McSorley, who's in New York City. In New York City, who's uh, he lands in New Jersey. Yeah, oh yeah, right, yeah. And and he's and, driving down the 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 guy. It's it opens with the uh, the dude driving his like uh, I don't know 
57 Chevy pickup or whatever. Uh, and he's just some old guy, like, talking to himself about sausage or something. Uh, and then it, it's, like, it gets, like, uh, the inverted, like, iMovie effect or whatever. Yeah, and the colors And he's like, oh, my God. They're, like, you don't see any anything that requires special effects in this movie. You don't see it. It you just he's just like, oh no! It, I guess there was a meteor up there. It sounded like it landed it up there in a few miles up the road where I'm driving. I'm gonna go see. And then he, the guy, like, uh, is sticking out his thumb, and he's just a big fat alien guy in a suit. So I guess on his planet, it's just a bunch of fat guys in suits that know how to hitchhike on Earth, and I. <laughs> yeah like there's no explanation and, yeah of, and like, like why said, this like, guy is the like, way he is funny but like still like normal human clothes just like right you'd be like a bit like odd but like yes everything about him appeared human basically <laughs> well, hey. except for his sharp teeth hey yeah you know hey. when the predator crash landed on earth in the in like the rainforest to go uh hunt arnold schwarzenegger and all his crew yeah, well, but he landed on purpose. Yeah, well, so did uh, so did the creature. I guess this guy could have too. He yeah, just he went there to too. go eat eat people. I guess you know he's just on a. Uh, he went there for a, a bite to eat. Yeah, what a, like one of those uh, restaurant weekends or whatever. Yeah, and, yeah, he's probably watching the Triple C. He, he is just twelve years yeah. old. Maybe he didn't know how to fly the, the spaceship or something. That's true. You shouldn't be flying a spaceship yeah. at twelve years old, right. let alone eating people. Uh, so McSorley is on the case to go find the killer, right? And in doing so, he ends up uh, getting a girlfriend who is a judge who apparently lets all the criminals go free. Like, that's what she does. And um, she should be a judge in San Francisco. Is that what they do in San Francisco? They let everybody out? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can rob places in San Francisco and not get arrested. Oh wow, that's crazy! If it's, if it's hey, for any VHS bandits who need something that is eight hundred ninety nine dollars or less, go to San Francisco and just take it out of the store because you're not going to be persecuted. Or oh wow, that's prosecuted wow. or that's, either yeah. either or go get a new Xbox. Uh, so uh, and yeah, so he starts to find out that this guy is eating. Uh, Italian. So he he takes like one criminal and he he dresses them up as like is like one of those guys with the box, the cranking box, and the and a and a monkey, and he gets eaten. But he covered him up in morphine, and uh, so he put the. So they ended up jailing the alien, and they're like, well, we did some carbon dating on the alien, so he's technically only twelve years old, so we have to charge him as a minor. And he's wearing a, like a Boy Scout suit, and somehow, and and the ju- <laughs> at this time, the judge is really mad at like the main guy because she had let that other that criminal go that he used to feed to the alien. Yeah, yeah. So, um, she is mad that um he basically yeah got he was killed. dating her right. too. Yeah, he was kind of dating, which her is one dating. of the good jokes that I liked. So uh, she ends up dating the twelve year old four hundred pound alien. Because yes. she's a pedophile and a uh, bestiality enthusiast or alien yeah. alien. yeah. Um, <laughs> alienality. So uh, the aliens are finding out that she's Italian. Finish on her tits. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and, uh... What, it's not that kind of show anymore? Whoa. I... Huh? We can't have aliens coming on... Judge's titties? Well, you know, it, well, actually, this movie would have been better if that had happened. Uh, yeah. Hey, was there a trailer? There was a trailer at the oh, beginning of this. We tape, forgot right? to talk about what the trailer it? for Lust in the Dust. There we go. Yes, yeah, they're yes, speaking of coming that. on titties. Yeah, that was a. Uh, it looked. It looked almost like the same thing as this. Like a. I haven't seen it before. It looks like something that I want to see. It's like a slapstick airplane-ish kind of comedy, but set in the Wild West. Yeah, it has. And I don't know if it is John Waters, but it it has. Uh, Des- Who's that big old fat uh, drag queen? Uh, Pink Flamingos. Person? I don't know what it is. P- the what? Pink Flamingos one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what her name is. Uh, but she's in it. It's like Destiny or something. I don't know. Yeah. Some, something you like know, that. some name like that. 
Uh, she's in it. I don't think she eats a big old dog turd, though. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but that looked like a good movie. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I mean, I mean, you know, as good as <laughs> it could be, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> a good movie according to our standards. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why these anybody who's listening to the show, I would imagine, enjoys the same kind of slop yeah, that we yeah. watch. <laughs> they would have shut off this uh, podcast long ago. Oh, yeah. If they didn't have the same taste. Whoa, what is that? You're drinking out of an entire industrial-sized... Uh, bathroom garbage can there yeah it's it's just a it's a tall water bottle filled with good old h2o oh yeah, yeah. mr fancy i can afford water oh yeah well you can afford water and then some and by that then some i mean some coffee grounds and some cream maybe some hey, sugar I'm- I'm drinking dirty bean water. That's what coffee is. It's just dirty bean water. Dirty bean water. How do you have dirty bean water in Nevada when that that comes from Boston? (laughs) I love that dirty bean water. Oh. That's exactly. I drink dirty bean water. (laughs) This this came straight. I just dipped. Before I left Massachusetts, I just took a big old, a big old uh, uh, four by four. uh, you know, box truck, and I backed it into Boston Harbor, let it sink the back of the truck, of course, of the, uh, you know, and and then I, as it filled up with the dirty bean water, I closed the closed the box and then drove across the country. And here we are. Every time I I get a little a little quench, and there's no Pepsi Cola, I get uh, I just open up the back of the box truck and hold my uh, mug out. Sad. And you know, it already must be Protein. piping hot from being out there in your 150 degree weather all day, right? Yeah, no need to uh, boil it up. Yeah, all right. And I'm just drinking some Coke Zero. <laughs> Regular Coke well, Zero. Hey, have you had have you had uh, soda cola? <laughs> I have not. Oh, I thought man. it was cola hey. soda. It's cola soda or soda cola. I don't know, but it's all that we have at the uh, the effects shop that I'm, I'm at. In, in the entire soda state cola. of Nevada, there are no other sodas <laughs> except cola soda slash. Hey, it's soda cola. It's the best generic soda cola you can buy. <laughs> it's wow. actually, you know, you if hey if this was a blind if you did a blindfold test. On generic sodas for, for you know, Coke Zero, soda cola would, would take home the trophy. I tell you what, next time you come back to visit back bring here. Bring a soda cola and bring, have it bring explode some, on the airplane. Yeah, yeah. Bring some, co- <laughs> bring some soda cola, cola sodas, and uh, we'll, we'll have that during the holidays. Oh, of course. The three yeah, of us will we'll sit down and enjoy some cola sodas. While we're Some doing the warm show, cola soda, yeah, by the fire. All right. uh, so uh, they end up letting uh, they let the alien go. The alien starts dating the judge. He tries to eat the judge, and uh, McSorley ends up giving him a poisoned doll that looks exactly like him that he eats and dies. And <laughs> that's the end of the movie. I love how stupid this movie is. Like, yeah. I mean, I the, it is a little boring, like uh, halfway on yeah. towards the end. But it's just so fucking stupid that it's genius. You know, it's just like, all right, it's fucking alien crashes down uh, and we don't see it. And then he eats people and we don't see it. But then we throw in some jokes and that's our entire movie. Here we yeah. go. Go make it. Yeah. So, uh, so what the what <laughs> like their commitment to stupidity? So, like I was saying, where I, I personally found like very this movie is literally nonstop jokes. The entire movie is nonstop jokes, and to me, only two of them worked, and the rest of them like Ooh. just didn't. I I just I couldn't get into them. So, what what did what were like your guys' favorite parts about this movie? Like what what I made you guys laugh? Tom, you go, giggle? you go. Oh, okay. Uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, I'm trying to think. Like, I liked at the end when the judge um, now is going to try and get the death penalty for him because the whole movie she had been letting everyone off, and um, now she had converted and saw that like 
you know, oh, by letting this guy off, he's going to try and eat me. So I'm going to um, try and get my new boyfriend the death penalty. I enjoyed that. Um, That's called a character arc. Yep. <laughs> um, I think, like, the first time the narration happened, like, maybe this, like, it was funny for a little bit, but then they dragged that on way, way too long. Um, aside from that, like, you know, <laughs> I just like, <laughs> you know. All right, how about you two, man? You go first, because I think I laughed more oh, than you, even yeah. though you One probably more. liked like, the movie. I, I enjoyed oh, that, okay. um, he wasn't able to please the judge lady. That, that, that was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the only jokes that landed for me was one at the very beginning when we're in the police department and we meet the police chief and he's eating an That's ice cream cake. That's one of mine. That's one of mine. And, 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 and McSorley, like we're saying, he does like this, like, you know, um, this like Maltese Falcon, like this, it's just like a narration that he does as a, as a, as like a, as like a detective. Right. But he says it out loud, literally, right then and there. Like he has no no inner monologue, right? And so he's sitting there with the police chief. The police chief is eating this this like clown faced ice cream cake, and he's all like, "Man, we got all these missing people up the wazoo and this and that. oh." And I asked for frog, froggy, the froggy, the froggy, the cake, and they gave me fucking clown face. <laughs> they said, "They said here's here it is." They he says. Uh, because this is one of my one of the funniest things I thought in the movie, and I was like, when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm on board. Yeah, so yeah. Me too. He says, he says, to top it all off, I ordered Fudgy the fish, and they gave me Cookie the clown. <laughs> <laughs> and he's so pissed off about, it, and he's just eating it with a plastic spoon. This fucking he clown was ice cream I, he cake. was one of my favorite characters. He was great. He I like him a lot. He's probably the, the whole best time. character in the movie. And, or, or like, yeah. There's this part where he's like harassing a delivery guy who delivers him a six layer like cake. He's like, I ordered a seven layer cake. Count these layers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only <laughs> hey, other put some more layers on there. Put some more layers on there. The only other part that I that I like really thought was funny was uh uh McSorley goes to like this. The section at the police department where I guess he goes to get like equipment or something. And he's like, listen, I need to get like a bag of morphine. How much is a bag of morphine? And he's like, well, uh, yeah, when you yeah. buy a bag of morphine, he's like, it's like QVC, <laughs> right? When you buy a bag of morphine, you get this nice nine piece, uh, like stainless steel set of cutlery. How much would you pay for that? Now, Don't answer that. Because if you get this morphine and get this stainless steel set, you also get this Ginsu knife. How much would you pay for that? <laughs> oh, don't don't answer that because you'll also get a nice piece of designer patio set. <laughs> and it just kept going With on the and on. The like, samurai dragon. <laughs> I I thought right that was on the cushions. I thought that was funny. That was awesome. Yeah that that section was very funny. I like that what, a lot. Like and the actor who played that guy was just on point. Oh, he was dude. perfect. Well, one thing I got, I definitely got to say is like, and I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen this movie yet. I'd love to do it. Maybe we'll do it next month or something. But uh, uh, there's a movie called uh, uh Night Patrol. Came out in like the early yeah. 80s. It's got with the baghead comedian. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. He's in there. Yeah. Andrew Dice Clay. That was a movie that was made by comedians for comedians. And I have a weird feeling that this movie is like on the same the par, same, same level. Thing, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, like there's a uh, there were like one thing that I really give a lot of props to this movie is um there are a ton of one shot take parts with a shitload of dialogue and a lot of wordplay. Right. Like there's three or four of these throughout the movie and obviously they must have really had to rehearse this stuff, memorize those lines. I mean, I really commend the people who did these scenes and pulled them off flawlessly. Like there's a whole scene where <clears throat> uh uh McSorley has uh he's handcuffed to like this criminal, right? I forgot what his name was, but there's a sleaze bag. He's like this sleazy P martini looking dude, right? And they're like coming out of the the jail or, or the court or whatever, and and he's telling him about his his pusher, right? His drug dealer, and it's like a I forgot what they call it, but it's like a it's like a Peter Piper Peter Peter Piper pecked a bunch of pickle a peppers tongue twister a tongue twister. So he's all like, all right, he's a Mother Goose's rock and rhyme. Yeah, he's like he's like, all right, I got the pusher. 
who's actually a pitcher, who drives a Porsche, who's came from, uh, you know, and it just kept all these, all these like Persia. from Persia, you know, and oh, no, he's, oh, no, originally, he's from originally from Prussia. Yeah. And they kept doing, and they did a whole shtick. I'm like, man, that's pretty fucking clever. That's great. And they did it like two or three other times in the movie, you know? Yeah. Which is one of the, like the first time it was like, oh, that's funny. And yeah. then the third time it's like, oh, what the fuck? Are, yeah. uh, all right. Yeah. I already saw yeah. this. It's not, it, and it's not like it's the same guy. It's different people doing yeah. the same bit. So like if it was the same character doing some, I mean, he gets eaten. So, yeah. you know, you can't, <laughs> but, but that would make sense if it's, if it was like a character thing, but it's just random, you know, oh, we're going to do this gag here now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's kind of it. Every other joke <clears throat> to me like really fell flat. Like this, like they'll put a, there's a whole, there's a guy who's like a street vendor, and, and he has a uh, he's he's got his deep fryer, and he keeps like finding his like watch and shit, and he keeps going ah shit, I fried my fucking wristwatch. <laughs> I think that was you didn't like that guy. Well, like it kept going on. It kept ah shit, I fried well, my see, fucking ring, my is- fucking crucifix. This is one of the things that I uh, like. <clears throat> it's one of those jokes that pays off later. So, like, it's not super funny when he's doing it in the scene. It's like, okay, we kind of get it. It's like kind of a shitty joke. <laughs> but then, like, he, so he's like making this like fried dough Italian street food shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, and then he like makes the cop order some. Because he's like trying to give a note to his grandmother to dress up like a Hasidic Jew or so, right. whatever. I don't know, <laughs> so that she doesn't look Italian, so she doesn't get eaten. Um, but so he's like, "Oh, I, my fucking watch, my fucking you know ring, my whatever." Uh, and then you know it's kind of funny, but then like the next scene, the guy like gets his shit. Uh, and he like makes a phone call and he takes a bite out of one of the <laughs> dough balls and like the guy's car keys are in there. Oh, yeah. So I think that's where it paid off because I laughed at that. I I thought that was funny. That was. Yeah, that was. Pretty and good. Uh, or even and the, the guy, payoff later where it's like a quick little like thinking montage. There's like a blur around people's faces. And then you quickly see him of like serious stuff that pertains to the movie. And then he's like. You know, oh, I, I, I fried my fucking wristwatch. It just kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, like that's one of the jokes that's like, uh, like the best joke ever done on in movie history from right. uh, Revenge of the Killer Tomato or Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh yeah, where, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, the yeah. pizza falls down at the end of the movie. Yeah, that is the best joke in any movie ever. So it's kind of like that, except not as long of a payoff. But. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So I, I also thought if we're still working out our funny bits here, yeah. um, I liked the, uh, the beginning I thought was, was great. He's doing the narration and we already went over the fudgy, the fish cake and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, he do, he narrates like the entire fucking movie. Um, and so is his dad. Yeah, he goes to a psychiatrist or something. One to is that his dad? Yeah, he means yeah, that's, he, that, that's his dad. I didn't catch that till the second time. He his went. dad oh, is like right. the best detective in the world, <clears throat> kind of a thing. So he narrates too. Uh, yeah, so he was narr- like his dad narrates him narrating, and it's like this inception of narration going yeah. on which that that was kind of funny too but i mean he didn't you didn't you could just go like one up it there instead of just returning you know cuz he narrates a whole fucking movie and it gets yeah. annoying um, yeah, like, but he's really always, good at it huh yeah and people are always telling him to stop like like a noir style film but like yeah yeah he's doing it out loud, out like, loud shut the fuck yeah. up man and I'm kind of like, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, like a kid throws a basketball at him and stuff. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of funny. But so like one, this is one of the other times that pays off is um, like because he's super serious the entire movie, this guy. Um, and he's so when he first meets the uh, uh, the judge uh, who's this like hot babe. And he's trying to get some information out of her about like uh, people that she's he's put she's put away or whatever or let back on the streets. Um, 
And he's like, I had to use my my final source of uh, coercion. I must speak to her in the international language of love. And she's like, hears him say that. And she turns around and she's like, what? And then he just goes, he like grabs his dick and goes, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and then I was like, like, so you see that and you're like, this movie. And then the next scene is them like rolling around in bed and it worked. I thought yeah. that was fucking hilarious. Because uh, I was like, oh, this is a dumb joke. And then like, oh, it's like it pays off. It's a dumb joke that like actually worked for him yeah. and that is the funny yep. part so i i thought that was great yeah because she's swooned by this guy grabbing his dick and honking <laughs> his nose or whatever i mean <laughs> wouldn't you come on hey whew, that's all it takes sometimes i'll drop my panties in a second if someone grabs their dick and honks their nose <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh, if <laughs> Don't go around doing that, no. bandits. No, I would, a lot, a lot I of the things that. in this movie are probably not okay anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, this woman uh, does have sex with the twelve-year-old. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I mean, I don't that, know if that was that. ever okay. No, I don't think it was. Uh, not in my book. But yeah, whatever. Neither is cannibalism. <laughs> no, but like a lot of the like uh, racial stereotypes and. There, yeah, but that's funny. There. Who cares? Yep. It's fucking funny. And like when he dresses up the dude as um as I mean he's already Italian, but he like super Italians him and yeah. dresses him up in like the the drug dealer guy in uh uh yeah, the the music with the monkey. Yeah. Yeah, the monkey cranking fucking yeah. yeah, Italian guy suit with a big old like Mario mustache and wig, and he's like, "Get me a sim." Oh, okay, that part was funny too. Where he's like, "Listen, I want turkey with some Dijon mustard on a croissant. I don't want any of that all of that deli bullshit. I want you to fucking watch him cut the meat off the bird. <laughs> all right, give me a diet soda and get yourself something else. Like that was funny. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> And there's like the he the, talks to this old woman on uh on the street and she he's like who who did this? And I was gonna say that was the other thing I was thinking of. That's like oh that would not fly today. Yeah, but I mean who yeah. cares? I mean what, I, what, which joke people was are this? too fucking sensitive. Well, she says like oh is that I'm not gonna say the words she used, but she says yeah, <laughs> it's, exactly. the, it's not as bad as you know it's what not, you think it's it is, not yeah exactly. it's not the n word, but it's not it's close enough. But she says it's basically like it was the blacks or the Irish, and then he's oh. like I'm Irish, oh, and yeah. she's like I meant Norwegians. Yeah, <laughs> and then, oh, dude, and then later on, guys, like, later then what the on. fuck do I do with all these Norwegians? <laughs> Yeah, he he goes down to the, the the station and his his boss has arrested a bunch of like people in Viking outfits and shit. <laughs> that's that's funny. All right, that part that part was funny. That was pretty good. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they I mean, yeah, it's 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 not a perfect con- it's no return of the killer tomatoes. No. But it's got it could be a good double feature though. Oh yeah, I could see this being a good double feature with that. Sure, yeah, yeah, I could see they're that. They're both food, funny food movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. this would probably be like at a drive-in. This would be you know the second showing because you know because you can leave after. Yeah, you right. <laughs> after you watch the good movie, there you can stick around for this one yeah. and kind of like talk shit with your friends or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, you guys want to do some ratings? Uh, sure, I guess. Are there no other funny parts of this movie? Well, I, I said everything I thought was funny about the movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, honestly, like, talking it over with you guys, like, I enjoyed, like, it was funnier with, like, us talking about it than, like, a lot of the jokes were when I was actually watching I, I agree right. with you there, dude. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if we, if we all were in the same, you know, state... <laughs> we're yeah. able to watch this together. Uh, we're, we're, I, I would have to set the scene here if the three of us got together. And let me see. Maybe if we had got, uh, we each got a twenty-piece Burger King nugget with a fry oh, and a and a diet cola. I think that that would have been the perfect hey, recipe yeah. for this movie. 
I want to watch you slice those nuggets off the bird. Actually, it's yeah. You know what? You know, I take it back. I take it back. Um, because the we monster, go to Nico Dico's and get some Nico Bico Italian Dico's. grinders. Yeah, I, I was gonna say because he eats Italians, we would need Italian, which means we would have to get the chicken parm gr- sandwiches at Burger King. We have to get the chicken parm burgers. No, do, we got to go to Nico Dico's. Nico Bico's. Nico Bico Dico's. I doubt they have those. Yeah, I thought they didn't have those anymore. I actually like those. But they, they were, they, oh man, they, dude. You remember when they used to, do you remember like some years ago, Burger King? did they King? have spaghetti? No, or that Mc, was. McDonald's had McDonald's spaghetti. McDonald's had the Mc, Mc spaghetti, yeah. That is disgusting. Yeah. I understand that there are a couple of McDonald's like throughout the country that actually have McPizzas as well. Oh, the McPizza, which I would love to eat. Yeah, um, but uh, I would try a McPizza. Do you guys remember? You know how like the the chicken parm sandwich at Burger King was like a long, like oval shaped bun, right? Yeah, you know, it's a rectangle, right? So a while yeah. back they made a. It was like a long cheeseburger it, they called it it was like the, the extra double, the friend burger yeah right? i remember that the it, long did they call it like the extra yeah. long cheeseburger so it was so Ew. fucking delicious <laughs> right hey, i wanted cheeseburger extra long <laughs> oh, it was i don't know what it was i mean it tasted totally different from the regular burgers dude i think i got it two or three times that burger would give me the fucking worst shits in the, i would get the the juicy hey, squirts eating those burgers me, holy shit let me ask you this you know how burger king buns when you get just a plain burger anyway they get they're soggy yeah you, like you can lick the soggy well, bread well that's how off you the get an, that's how you get is a this, nice moist is this burger is double is that a double long yeah. uh, bun also soggy? Oh yeah. Soggy, oh yeah. You get double the double the, double the the uh the moisture in the there. sog. It's double the sog. Hey. Sog log. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that 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 burger gave you the sog logs. It's not the it's not the burger that's juicy, it's the bread that's juicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe that's, that's they just like slather <laughs> bread juice on the buns instead of actual like instead of actual know, whatever condiments f- yeah what water is a condiment <laughs> bread juice yeah, let me get some barbecue sauce and some water you just you give me a straw i don't need a drink i'll just drink i'll just stick my straw into the bun and <laughs> suck out the sog hey while we're on the subject of Buns, yep. I was about to <laughs> yep. say, like, Tom the you guys were talking yep. about, like, yeah. So, I, I just had um surgery on my anus, so that was fun. Tom uh, had some butt surgery or yesterday, not, yep. Some butt surgery, so I'm still we're setting up a GoFundMe for Tom the Bomb's butt. Yep, if you want to finance his butt, email us at the VHS Bandits <laughs> at butt.com. <laughs> yep. So, Tom, Ooh, did everything uh, go okay? Uh, yes, uh, it went pretty well. I had an anal fistula. I was dealing with that for about um, seven months. Now, what um, what what geez. is a fistula? So basically, it's like a tunnel that goes from like the outside of your anus, like your butt cheeks, to the inside of your anus, um, and the tunnel becomes like infected, and it um, has like a head, like a cyst. Um, on the outside, and um, that swells, um, and then has like a bloody mucusy discharge. Oh, oh God. Um, and then periodically, so then it like drains, but then because the tunnel's still there, it doesn't heal properly, and then it you know fills and drains again until you get the surgery that I just had. Um, so do they remove the tunnel? Of, uh, they, there's different surgeries too, like um, it's like because the, big the, the, the the problem exactly the problem is the tunnel goes through like the muscles there. So if you like dig the whole thing out, sometimes there's like a risk of fecal incontinence, and then you just like can poop yourself because you got rid of like also the muscle that holds your butthole shut. Oh um, gosh. But luckily, mine didn't go through much of the muscle, so they were able to just um, still have your butthole. Yeah, I still the, the, my butthole. Um, <laughs> but then there's if it if it goes deep in there, there's other surgeries that they can do. 
which is basically they kind of like cap it at both ends and then what? They, Where's your poop go? Well, through your anus, not through the oh, tunnel, oh, but it's okay, not supposed okay. to go there. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Yeah, like how? <laughs> yeah, like so. These, these there's like basically extra. I didn't know this, but like extra, like really tiny tunnel. Like the thing is, they're not normally supposed to get poop in them because they're so tiny. Um, but then they become engorged or whatever. Like um, therefore, lubricating your poop as it leaves your anus. Well, VHS Bandits, you just learned something new today. Some fun new anatomy <laughs> slash medical science there. So, so slash Tom, poop science, if we will. So, Tom, poop science. I, I assume things. <laughs> so, this has happened yesterday. So, I assume things I'm a are poop scientist. Poop scientist. I'm sure things are still healing, right? Yes. Now, what happens when you yes, got to drop a bomb? You, what happens? Um. So I was worried about that myself. I've only pooped once since I've gotten this surgery. Um, like, what if the it, stitches was, don't hold? Oh, there are no stitches. It's open. Ah. It is like I am like um, I have periodically change out like bandages up there fairly frequently because it has to be open to heal properly. So it's a lot of blood. Oh my god. Well, anyway, <laughs> sorry about your butthole. Well, Tom, we all wish you a, a, we, a nice, you real fast are. recovery. Yeah, that's on, on your tushy. not fun. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Glad we talked about that on well, the show. You know, we know, we know how much our <laughs> listeners enjoy some good Pupukaka jokes, and I I think that one. This is no joke. I think that one got a little too close to home. <laughs> the butt home. <laughs> yep. So, anywho, oh, what do you guys oh, want to rate this movie? Ah, uh, uh, turkey slices right off the bird, or uh, <laughs> uh, fudgy fishies, fudgy or fish. cookie clown, uh, Italian ices, clown face. real Italian ices. How Real many time. layers of cake? Oh, hey, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's perfect, Tom. All cake. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, right. we ordered a 10-layer cake here. How many layers did you get? All right, Tom, it's up to you, dude. What's it going to be? I mean, actually watching the movie, I feel like I, I enjoyed a little of the beginning, but overall, I, I didn't really like watching it that much. I liked talking to you guys about it more. <laughs> So I'm going to give it four and a half layers Whoa, of cake. Whoa, you're okay. hot. You're, you, Whoa, Kevin would be proud of that rating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Tom, I must tell you, my friend, I, uh, I'm very much in the same boat. I also felt like as soon as I started watching this and I was like, wow, I'm really going to enjoy this movie. All right. After that, after that, uh, the, the ice cream cake joke. I'm like, this movie's going to be a wild ride. I can't wait. And then I uh, didn't, did not uh, hit the mark for me. So at the time I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to give this movie like a three. But now that we talk about it, I realized, yeah, there were some other parts that were kind of funny. I think I'm going to step it up a notch to a four. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought you were like this movie the most. Dude, I, you know, honestly, I, I was really hoping but this you was going to be. It much better but it just every joke just did not work wow so you see i think your ratings would be way see, different if we watched it all together you know what you yeah. might be right you might be maybe one day like yeah. i said one day we'll get some uh chicken parm sandwiches some 20 piece nuggets and we'll get down to watching <laughs> this movie with some soda cola cola sodas and some yeah, long like, burgers long burgers like, when I was thinking of the movie, I was watching it, like, I was ready to rate it, like you said, like a three or something. And then I was talking to you guys about it, and like, what happened? I'm like, okay, well, maybe it wasn't that bad. And then I, I kind of, like, raised my rating based on that. Yeah. But, like, yeah. but it's, it's still, it still was not, like, a great movie. So if we watch it together, it might be a five. Yeah, uh, possibly. Yeah, it might be a five. <laughs> you know, it's funny, too, because, like, I feel like nobody has ever heard of this movie, ever. You know what I mean? I haven't heard of it. 
I, 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 I knew thought. nothing about this movie until it showed up in a box from DVD creep. I never heard of it. Nobody has in all the years that I've been collecting and, you know, going on Instagram and seeing other people's collections. I can't think of a single time anybody else has ever posted this tape. I don't think anybody, I bet you a lot of people don't even know this movie exists. So email us at the VHS bandits at gmail.com. If you know that this movie exists. I mean, I really which, think that which, uh, you all do now. As, as, as low as a rating as I gave this, I think that anybody who is a fan of naked gun, airplane, slapstick, literal comedy kind of stuff, I think they would appreciate this movie to some extent. Yeah, for sure. I think anybody yeah, should. I'm going to you know, agree with that statement. Yeah. 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 I, yeah I, I think anybody should uh, should check this out. It's probably up on YouTube. I, I don't even know. But uh Probably out there somewhere. Probably the Amazon Prime or something. So, yeah. All right, the team man. What is it going to be? How many layers of cake? Count them. Layers of cake. Are you going to have? Well, I ordered a sixth layer cake, but I must have got that guy's piece because I got a seven layer cake for eating. Whoa. Run. Wow. Whoa. I think it was a good movie. <laughs> I mean, I did fall asleep. So there's that. But. <laughs> now what if you had know. if you need to rewatch it and see the parts that you missed maybe your rate maybe your your layer would go down a notch <laughs> maybe you I cut one off but i mean it i think like it is it's you know it's not the greatest movie but like it it accomplishes what it's set out to do it like i said it's just fucking stupid as hell and they lean into it they know it's stupid they lean into like not having a budget and they do it you know creatively yeah uh the only thing that sucks is that you know they repeat a lot of the same jokes um and they don't work and it's too long uh because of that uh if it was just a little bit shorter i think you know it'd be they just trimmed the fat a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's good. It's a good, funny movie. All right. And I did laugh out loud a few times. So, I mean, yeah. Before you fell asleep. Before I fell asleep, I was laughing my tits off. I could off. just see you going. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just like that. I cl- climbed a mountain this morning. I don't usually, we, I usually wake up at like, I don't know, nine o'clock or something, but I was up at seven and Kamara took me to the top of a mountain. Wow. And then I had to come home and wow. watch Fat Guy Cannibal movie. What, what <laughs> so mountain did I, you find? Uh, Mount Charleston Chew, I think it is called. Oh, wow. Something nice. like that. <laughs> ah, cool. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Is there a lot of good uh, mountains over there in Nevada? Uh, I mean, this over there is, uh, yeah, it, that was cool. Uh, I don't know how, I mean, I don't, I didn't even know it was there until like last week. So I don't fucking know how yeah, many like, more there I, are. I, I have never been to Nevada, but like I, when I think of it in my mind, I think of it as being like relatively like flat deserty. Yeah. So I, right. I guess I would. Yeah. Me too. Uh, but this is like way different. It's, uh, because the elevation is just so different, it's like twenty degrees cooler, and there's like actual trees and shit. Oh wow! <laughs> which they which they are like there's none of that anywhere else. Wow! Uh, but yeah, it's uh more like a California type forest type of thing. But but it's cool anyway. This isn't the 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 Nevada Mountain Podcast. This is the VHS Bandits Podcast, and oh. we have Patreons that oh, we yeah. need to thank. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh so let me thank our Patreons, including Kyle Shute. Hey. Uh uh what's the hey, if you order, if you order Kyle Shute, how much would you pay? Don't answer that, because you also get a Corey Gorski. And with every Corey Gorski, you get a Thomas Andrew Gwynn. Hey, and don't answer how much you would pay for a Thomas Andrew Gwynn, because you also get 
uh, Captain James T. Kaiser of the Good Ship Barbecue Boat. And hey, if you, how much danger? How much would you pay for Captain James T. Kaiser of the Good Ship Barbecue well, Boat? Well, you know, I think I don't pay- answer that because you also get a Bert Sazerac, an official Mike Fluffer, aka DVD creep, and you also get a trivia with buds and a soda popping daddies, the professional pro. Now, how many? dollars would you pay for a soda pop and daddies the professional pro the trivia with the buds the bird sazerac official mike fluffer the captain james t kaiser of the good ship barbecue boat the thomas andrew gwen and the cory gorski and the kyle shute how much would you pay for that tom the bomb uh, don't answer that because i'll also get you two jameses james and then kevin james the light wrangler and on top of that with the purchase of two jameses you also get alex t our official mask man now how much would you pay for that i'll throw yeah. in a set of uh, lawn furniture too <laughs> i'll give you i'll give you 400 dollars deal <laughs> so Oh, Thanks, you know what guys. else is funny? When he's when <laughs> hey, he's running what? down the street carrying that uh, patio furniture, and he drops a bag of uh, morphine, and the kid picks it up, and he just goes up and takes it back from him. That's pretty good. <laughs> good stuff. The morphine jokes are always oh, yeah. are funny. <laughs> All right. Well, that this has been another That's episode. It's been another episode of the VHS Bands <laughs> podcast. Thanks for listening to this episode of Eat and Run. Uh, if for all the g- ridiculous reasons that we constantly tell you to during our shows, email us at the VHS Bandits at gmail.com. <laughs> Check us out on Instagram at VHS Bandits. And uh, yeah, until next time, be kind and rewind. <laughs>